In today's episode, we'll reveal a very powerful organic pesticide formula using insecticidal soap spray, also known as soap salts. We'll learn how to make it yourself at home and how to use it to control pests like aphids, whiteflies, mealybugs, thrips, mites, and many other pests in your garden. Coming up. What is an insecticidal soap? Insecticidal soap, also known as soap salts, is an organic pesticide made of potassium salts of fatty acids and is derived from plant oils like coconut oil, olive oil, etc. The difference between soap salts and the regular soap is the alkali used in making this. In bar soap, they use sodium hydroxide, whereas in insecticidal soap, they use potassium hydroxide to make potassium salts of long chain fatty acids, which are considered safe non-toxic and eco-friendly and in fact approved for use as an organic pesticide. As usual, we always recommend you not to use hazardous chemical fertilizers and pesticides in our channel. Well, what is the mechanism of action of insecticidal soap spray? Insecticidal soap acts by contact. It kills insects in three ways. It damages their cell membranes, causing the contents of the cell to leak out, leading to dehydration and death. Then it melts the protective wax that covers certain insects like mealybugs and other scale insects and this leads to dehydration from evaporation. Then thirdly, it blocks the pores through which insects breathe leading to asphyxiation and death. The pest treated usually dies very rapidly within minutes of treatment. What are the insects and pests that are sensitive to insecticidal soap spray? Insecticidal soap is most effective on soft-bodied arthropods, a group that includes most plant pests like aphids, earwigs, leafhoppers, mealybugs, softfly larvae, spider mites, thrips, whiteflies, and even small caterpillars. Apart from these, insecticidal spray is also recommended and very effective for treatment of powdery mildew disease. What are the insects that are not harmed by insecticidal soap? Normally, the pollinator insects like bees, butterflies, ladybugs, lacewings, etc. are not harmed by insecticidal soap. Now let's look into ready-to-buy formulations of insecticidal soap. You have two options to choose. One is ready-to-use insecticidal soap spray that comes packaged in a spray bottle. The second option is to buy a concentrated solution. You have to use some 5 ml per liter of water and then spray it on your plants. Many gardeners like the idea of ready to use product because it's already mixed in the correct proportions and so there is very little risk of plant damage. The bottle may be labeled as suitable for organic use or safer for plants and vegetables. But if it's a true insecticidal soap, its bottle will list potassium salts of fatty acids as ingredients. Please check this composition before purchase. Now, how to use these insecticidal soap sprays? Before we go to the making of our powerful insecticidal spray, let's learn how to use these commercial formulations. The ready to spray bottle is simple to use. Just shake it well before use and start spraying thoroughly on the affected areas of your plant. If you have the concentrated solution of the insecticidal spray, use 5 ml per liter of water or as directed in the bottle usage instructions. Mix it well and spray the plant thoroughly or wet the plant completely because it's effective only when it's wet and has no residual effect. In other words, it loses all its effect once it dries out. But the pests usually die very rapidly within minutes of treatment. You may also perform a pass test before using it for the first time. We'll discuss about it later on. Now the DIY powerful pesticide formula. The active ingredient in insecticidal soap is the soap itself. While many homemade recipes may tell you to add additional stuff like garlic, chili powder and so on, the insecticidal soap is actually the main ingredient. We'll make the recipe for 1 liter of water in this demonstration. Take 1 liter of water in a container which can be closed. Distilled water is best. Do not use hard water. Then add 1 full teaspoon of mild liquid soap like hand wash liquid. Do not use stronger ones like the dishwash liquid soap. 
Liquid soaps contain potassium salts or fatty acids which are soap salts. Then add 1 full teaspoon of vegetable oil like coconut oil to this. Now this will be your homemade insecticidal spray. But to add more power to this, you need to add neem oil to it like about 5 ml of it. Especially if the pest infestation is too extensive or resistant to any of the treatments. Mix it well by closing the cap and shake it well for few minutes. Fill your spray bottle and shake every time before you spray. Both the liquid soap and the oil act as surfactants to help keep the solution from quickly running off the plant leaves when sprayed. The longer the solution remains on the plant's foliage, the better the chance of killing the pests. Then, what is pest test? Whenever you make or use a pesticide for the first time, always do a pest test on a leaf before spraying on the entire plant. You never know how strong it is and may damage your plant. So, first spray it on a leaf or branch and wait for one or two hours. If the leaves start wilting, then it's too strong to use. Dilute it accordingly and then use. Then how often should I spray? For pest prevention, spray plants thoroughly with insecticidal soap once in 10 to 15 days. For treatment, once weekly or max twice weekly. And after a heavy rain, you have to reapply the spray. Then lastly, can I store this solution once prepared? You can refrigerate it to store, but always better to make fresh solution every week. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!